So, we've got pretty even spawns, actually. He's got a lot more mixed in around him. Well, he doesn't have as much more close, but not far away. So, we've got as yellow matter Munson versus purple, who is Orbnet. And Orbnet has a little bit of walking distance around him, but definitely has a lot of metal pretty close by compared to matter, who will definitely have to walk a lot longer. He's got all of this distance to walk her here to expand well. Orbnet can pretty much expand pretty well in these di directions. Got nice metal groupings all around him. And so, everyone seems to be going off well. Matter Munson is working on an air factory before getting a bot factory up. This is actually something that I saw last game with Gfoil. Easy way to go ahead and see about scouting your opponent, getting all of this scouted, because they are quite a ways away. Oh, look at that distance. Definitely need to get scouting pretty quick. And Orbnet is moving forwards. Looks like he's going to go for an air factory and bot factory as well. Not sure in which order he'll be doing it, but then he'll get some more power going here. And already a Firefly out for Matter Munson. He is scouting now, not going in the same direction as Orbnet, but if it continues just along this route, it will eventually reach him over here. But it looks like it's just going around in a giant circle, so it will probably take a while before it scouts. Looks like Engineer is being built here now for him, while Orb over here is finally getting out his first Engineer as well. So, and actually the second Engineer is out and he's going to, looks like, assist the Commander in building power at this time first engineer finally out for orbnet and it will go probably to metal actually um thought he was going to go go ahead and help the comm but looks like metal is where he's going to be scouting going well still still doesn't seem to have found him let's look at orb but it is heading straight for it so we'll just watch it as that just goes straight over there and sees all of this. Now Matter Munson has a good idea that over here is where his opponent is while he's over here. That will allow him to establish defenses all along here and hopefully begin to build defensive lines. And it looks like he is not seeming to pay attention to it this moment. Not seeing any circling or anything by that unit so it's not really looking like it's paying too much attention air factory finally going up for orbnet finally going out firefly so he can begin scouting he knows he was scouted looks like instead he's going for a horn for a, uh, a hummingbird sorry and the hummingbird will most likely do the scouting for him just to take out any fireflies he may meet along the way it's a very handy unit to have but still matter munson seems not to be paying attention at least not at this moment as far as I can see. Looks like he's left his base pretty much alone at the moment. No more expansion going on. Actually, his comms just sitting there taking a few shots. But other than that, nothing is going on here. Slightly surprising. While well, Orbnet continues to work on expanding his economy. Looks like Mary Munson is still online. Looks like he has got one unit and it's now starting to move his units here. Working on an advanced air factory, really going to push that hard. It's already about a fifth of the way done, my word. If this keeps up, he's going to have a lot out of there really quick. But not a lot of expansion. He's going to have to be really careful. Otherwise, he's going to be very susceptible to a more powerful economy. Already halfway done for that. And it looks like those bot fabricators are not doing much. It's really starting to help out with building that air advanced air factory. And it is almost complete. And... There it finally goes, completed, and building Peregrines, it looks like. 
Maramunson is really getting on that advanced air. My word. Another air factory is starting to go up for Orbnet. He knows that he's going to need something to counter the troops here. Already three Peregrines out. Soon to be more. Not sure where they're going at all. They should be heading towards the base over here. Lots and lots of Peregrines coming out now. He is really going for total air control. And they're coming forwards. And they will be able to take out any f fighters. Missiles just hitting down around there. Just microwing them. Taking them around. While those fighters get hit. Some advanced bombers coming out as well. The hornets there are really suitable for killing comms. Those peregrines taking out out just a bug where their missiles actually hit the building and do damage to it which can be really really damaging some flat coming up and together and it looks like orb is going to be almost dead if he cannot get any more defenses out getting some anti-air together here really pushing it it's like a gunship coming out as well you see about trying to hit the comm most likely and those bombers coming in as well but with all of those air defenses it might be enough to stop lots of AA here another air factory coming together more fighters as well And almost took out one advanced bomber. Oh, one advanced bomber has been taken down. The other one as well. Those gunships are trying to come out and do a bit of damage. They're circling around. Really pushing out those gunships. Peregrines coming around as well. Being able to do some damage. Missile towers hitting those units. Really doing damage to those gunships. My word. Those gunships do not have a lot of health. And those stingers hitting them as well. Some defenses finally going up. And Orbnet might be able to make it out if he can really start pushing those units. Lots and lots of air coming out. Maramunson has based his entire strategy on the air superiority aspect. If he can't do it, then he will definitely lose this. Gunships coming out and they are going to be aiming... Uh, circling around actually fighters coming in more fighters coming in and they are being hit both sides and mainly the fire escort the peregrine escort for those gunships is pretty much destroyed those fighters should be easily able to take out those gunships now without any fire escort Marmonson now having to get out more peregrines to go ahead and start trying to control the skies again but Orbnet already has a little bit of advantage in time, getting a lot of stingers out to go ahead and grab that air superiority back. Doing a good job trying to control the skies. More and more peregrines being built. They are easy to build, but they die pretty easily. And if he can go ahead and get that advanced factory out, this game might go ahead and get to a pretty good position of stability. Looks like he's putting his almost his entire economy on simply building that air factory. And fighters coming around as more fighters are coming out as well. And those fighters are trying to come out, but they're just being hit by all those peregrines trying to just tease him out into the open that advanced air factory is almost there and all those fires coming in and doing a lot stingers coming in and doing a pretty good amount of damage as well that air factory has taken quite a few hits and not being worked on anymore stingers coming closer and try to protect units there 
more gunships coming out slowly as he begins to build more and more air. Stinger's sitting and waiting. Actually, they're moving forwards, it looks like. They'll be able to hit those peregrines and start taking them down really quick and easily. Oh, but they've landed. As soon as they land, they can't, but they're being brought up again, and they're taking hits. Which is really, really good here for him, and the advanced air factory is almost complete. If he can get peregrines out, he'll be doing really well. Those stingers starting to do damage to the gunships. Several gunships taken out. And more air factories going up as well here. Could just get some advanced, some flat cannons going along this area. He'd be able to really just kill off his power. Peregrine's coming out here, slowly being built. He'll need to push them a lot harder, but lots of stingers moving around, very mobile units. All those stingers firing off shots. And it looks like that factory was almost taken out. Very close to being destroyed here. Barely made it through. More AA batteries going up as well. Advanced bomber coming around. Hornet there. Moving in. Not sure where it's going. It's trying to sneak by. No stingers are coming forwards. And they're aiming for that advanced bomber. And it is taking shots but it is down the fighters coming in and they're taking some hits as another bomber comes in as well wow that was weird stingers coming in destroying the air defense and that advanced bomber is down as well more peregrines coming out here for Matter Munson. He's really trying to get things going. Not really expanding at all, keeping very compact base at this time, just sending wave after wave after wave of fighter. Just trying to destroy Orbnet. Orbnet finally gets one peregrine out, another one being built. Those fighters are hitting each other, and it looks like Orbnet has pretty much done a good job at controlling this battle. Air Factory being worked on continuously trying to get the health back. More air coming up. And he slowly is expanding more and more. If he can actually get some factories out right here, he could be able to sneak in right behind Maramunson and take him out so much of his work is going to just trying to hit this area where AA tower is going up here Orbnet really pushing it finally Maramunson is beginning to expand it looks like just weighing on things for him more peregrines coming out so now Things have pretty much balanced out. Maramunson is going to be forced to expand and make his forces stronger. More and more peregrines coming out here for Orbnet. He's putting a lot of resources into just building those peregrines. And looks like they're going to see that peregrine and that one as well. They're traveling back, taking out peregrines as they can, moving forwards towards the air. Peregrines taking shots, one advanced bomber down. Now just down to fighters and one peregrine left. Takes out the builder 
and finally is taken down by a newly built Peregrine. But more air factories going up. This is just going to turn into an air war, it looks like. No ground units are truly being created, at least for offensive purposes. Which is slightly a bit of a disappointment, except it looks like bot factories coming out. It looks like fires will probably be built to go ahead and protect these factories. Advanced bot factory, advanced air factory coming out also. Advanced power generator is coming up as well. It looks like he's gotten an idea that there are indeed things that he'll need to be taking care of over here. Trying to micro his units around. Trying to destroy those factories. And more units coming in for this. Peregrines coming and attacking. And they are moving in and taking things down. And units have been taken down there. Fighters coming out strong. Orvnet really needs to step up his game with his peregrines. Or otherwise he's going to lose to all of the opponent. To all of Matt Myerson's. But definitely if we're talking economy size. Then Matt Munson is definitely not in the same league at least with that. He needs to expand his economy a lot more. He's finally getting up his second advanced factory. Almost completed here. Peregrine's coming in, and they're fighting each other out. And a pretty good victory going on for Orbnet. He's able to keep this factory alive. More units coming together. Looks like they're going to try to protect this. And it looks like some stingers coming out. Looks like three factories of stingers, three factories of doxes are going to be built here, which is a good idea. Just gives a nice balance to the military units. And units being shot down here, being taken out pretty easily. Large groups of fighters just roaming around. Large group being pulled together as well. Looks like all of Orb's units that are currently out. And they're going to try to defend everything up front. Taking out bombers as they come. Pulling back. The Stinger's doing some damage. And one of the Peregrines taken down by Stinger. Ow! That can definitely do cause a problem. And all of those fires being taken, taking quite a bit of damage. And it looks like that, at least when it comes down to it, Orbnet has lost that battle to Matt Mutterson. Matt Munson. Matt Munson sending his, his fighters, trying to do more damage, losing a few units, being Looks like they're being sent over and coming around. Lots of peregrines coming in and just flowing around the sides. And all of those fires are just going to be taken down or not. Oh, it looks like Maramunson probably had a much bigger force going on. The fighters. And one of the advanced air factories is taken down. However, a large defensive force coming together here. And if those doxes were any closer, he'd be able to kill off those. Lots of damage being done to all of those peregrines. So at this moment, it's a pretty good toss-up game. But it looks like that at this moment... Maramunson is in trouble because ground units have finally reached him. Even with that advanced bomber there, there's more troops incoming and also protection against air. Units coming around the back doing damage as well. 
and that's going to take time off of other important things. Oh, and pretty much all of the anti-air is taken out for those doxes. It looks like they're pulling back here. Orbnet really pushing it, taking on the fighters. Not much left though. More and more units coming out. Orb is really pushing the ground. Maramunson has invested so much in air. His economy has not been able to stop it. And finally, one of the air, advanced air factories for Matt Meyerson is down. Matt Munson. And no GG. All right, it looks like he's opted to surrender by suiciding his cob. And this game goes to Orbnet. And Orbnet wins this round while Matt Meyerson, Matt Munson is taken out.